Hey guys, how you doing? It's Keftech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to talk about IT for 2023. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. So, I want you guys to think about 2023. It's a brand new year. Um, before I even say that, actually, uh, Happy New Year's. I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful Saturday. Um, God bless you and your family. I hope you're having a wonderful year so far. Um, so let me dive into this. So this is super duper important. The most important thing when you're coming into IT, whether it's IT, cybersecurity, or anything to do with IT, you need to have a plan of action. A plan of action is super duper important. I don't care what anyone says. When we go into IT, you want to go with a clear plan of action. You don't want to go sideways. You want to go with a plan of action. What sir am I going to get? What skills am I going to actually work on? Um, who am I going to talk to? What job recruiters am I going to reach out to? Do I need to fix my resume? How's my resume look? So these things are super duper important. So number one for you, if you're trying to get into IT, whether it's IT or cyber, please, for the love of God, please learn fundamentals. So fundamentals are so important. You have no idea. Like Everyone wants to everyone wants to go over here but no one wants to come all the way down here i need you to come down here with me please please learn fundamentals what is an operating system what is hardware what is software networking how 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 do these devices talk to each other how does my phone connect to wi-fi on my isp service provider behind me those things are very important please learn fundamentals okay kev now i know fundamentals i know how to do fundamentals number two for you is um, create a resume. So yeah, the resumes are very important. If you have a bad resume, no one's going to call you. Always fix that resume. That resume is super duper important. So keep in mind, you need to have a good solid resume. I have 12 resumes on my YouTube playlist. You want to go to my resume playlist. You want to go into a cybersecurity playlist. Look at Day. Day has videos on that. You don't, you you don't want to do those ones. Look at Simply Cyber. Simply Cyber has videos on cybersecurity resumes for SOC analyst roles. Um, there are so many resources online that you could find free resumes online right now and then tailor it and put yourself in there. That's number two. Number three is create a home lab, create project work. So for me, I'm in my IT support, CapTech IT support. I cover IT support. So learn about Active Directory, learn about Office 365, learn about Exchange Admin, learn about MFA two factor authentication. How does a user log in? Uh, how to enroll the device on their phone? These things are very vital and important to IT. So you build that home lab. Now you have some sort of experience. We call it project work. Whether it's done in GitHub, I don't care where you're doing it, just get some sort of experience and then add that skills to your resume. That would be number three for me. Number four for me, which I talk about, is reaching out. Talk to hiring managers, talk to job recruiters. Um, network like crazy, you join social events. Those things are very important. Those things are vital to IT. You need to actually put yourself out there and see what happens. You never know who's hiring and you cannot, you cannot Get help if you don't say anything. Staying quiet is not going to do anything. You have to speak out and say, I need help. I need this. I need that. But you also do not want to sound needy. That's very important too. The next thing I need you to focus on is fix that LinkedIn profile. That LinkedIn profile is vital to today's society in 2023 because a lot of people are posting, try hack me, hack the box, cybersecurity, resources, helping other people. So you want to put yourself on LinkedIn. Fix your LinkedIn profile, fix your LinkedIn profile picture, fix your LinkedIn URL, put tech related words on your LinkedIn profile. Make sure you, you enable creator mode so you could put project work, pre, put your certifications in there. Those things are very vital to IT, having a LinkedIn profile like before. I mean, I've been in IT since 2014, so before we didn't have these things, now we have these things. So LinkedIn is going to make you stand out, connect with hiring managers, connect with job recruiters, connect with people, reach out to people, ask for help. Be a resource for other people. Do not just put yourself out there and beg for help. At the end of the day, no one likes to hear about me, 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 me. People want people that are able to help them, help, help them and then also they'll help you as well. So those things are really vital to, to being online, be on LinkedIn, be active, help other people, be a resource, comment. Comment on, on, a, on a LinkedIn post. Hey, I need help with um, I need help with Security Plus. Okay, Ian Neal has resources on, on Security Plus. I need help with Security Plus. Oh, Professor Measure has free videos on YouTube online. Go look at that. So that's very important. Fixing the LinkedIn profile, oh my goodness, is so duper important. I got two of my jobs just being active on LinkedIn, okay? Um, 
The next thing I need you to do, like I said, is join social platforms. There are Discords out there. There's Slack out there. There are free cybersecurity platforms that you could join, like Cyber Mentor Dojo is one. Uh, InfoSec Live is another one. I'm friends with Simon over there. Another one would be uh, if you're a female trying to break into cybersecurity is Women's Cyber Jitsu. I'm going to put all these things below in the description of this video. Um, another one is Raisa Cyber, which is I'm a director, their volunteer director for um, Hispanics or, or Latin, Latin or women in IT, women in tech trying to get into cybersecurity or IT. That's another one. Another one would be um, um, We Hack Purple, is another one. So there are so many resources out there that's absolutely free right now if you just take advantage of them. So reach out to people, talk to different people, join social events, join discourse. Those things are going to help you out. And the last and final thing for me, which is not tech related, is the having the right mindset. You need to have the right mindset coming into IT. And I'm going to say, IT is not for everyone. I repeat after, I'm going to repeat that again. IT is not for everyone. Sometimes you need, to, you need to have strong analytical thinking. You need to have the right personality, the right attitude, having the willingness to learn, having the willingness to find the answer. Those things are super duper important. Can anyone work IT? Well, if you if you can learn this, you can learn IT. Anyone can learn IT. But it goes back to mindset. What can I what what can I learn? Can I learn this? Can I Google the answer? Can I find the answer? Can I do research? Well, those things are very important because when you come into IT, this is my personal experience. You're gonna go into IT and you're gonna go into a job and you either sink or swim. Some of these companies, they train you. Some of these companies do not train you. Some of these people that you work with, they help you. Some of these people that you work with do not help you. So figuring out how to Google the answer. What are you Googling? What are you going to look for online? Uh, I mean, and like I say, have a black belt in Google fool. Like learn how to find answers online because not everyone's gonna help you, unfortunately. That's just how, that's just the reality of IT. So those things are super duper important. Um, and having the, the, the right mindset, the willingness to not give up. That's the most important thing I could teach you out of all the videos I created in my YouTube channel is having the willingness not to give up. A lot of people give up. They put, submit resumes, submit resumes, submit resumes, submit resumes, get no's, get no, rejection, no, no, rejection, no, no, rejection, no, no. If you're getting a bunch of rejections and you keep getting rejection emails, and you're not getting any response at all, the most important thing for you is to take a step back. Please take a step back. At this point, at this point in time, if you're submitting over 100 resumes, you're not getting any calls at all, nothing's happening to you, you got to take a step back. Reevaluate the situation. Reevaluate your resume. So there's something wrong with your resume. Someone needs to look at your resume if you're not getting any job interviews at all. That's, that's one thing. The other thing is, if you are getting interviews and you're not getting the job, try to get feedback from the hiring manager or the job recruiter or whoever interview you. You're probably doing bad with technical skills. You're probably doing bad with soft skills. They probably don't like how you answer the questions. Those things are very, very, very important. So, um, I guess, conclusion. So, the most important things that I just mentioned today, those things are important. Having the right mindset, putting yourself out there and seeing what happens. If you do these things and you really like literally dive into it, like I'm saying like dive into it, like go all in and you know, obviously take breaks in between, right? But if you do these things and you get the right certifications, you network, you fix your resume, you fix your LinkedIn profile, you talk to hiring managers, job recruiters, all that good stuff, you will definitely get a job. I'm telling you, definitely get a job. And um, like I, like, like te uh, textual shadow would always say, uh, comparison is the thief of joy. So what that means is do not compare yourself to other people. I always say that everyone's success rate is different. You may get a job today. You may get a job tomorrow. You may get a job the following week or the month after or six months from now or a year after. So everyone's success is different. It took me a year for me to get a job in cybersecurity. I know someone that I work with that I literally took a phone call with him and he got a job in cybersecurity in a month. So it's just like everyone's success rate is different. So I'm always going to tell everyone that everyone's path in IT, we all have our own story, our own unique story to get into IT. But at the end of the day, we all end up in the same place. Whether you have a degree, whether you don't have a degree, whether you have a cert, you don't have a cert, whether you network on LinkedIn and just got hired because the recruiter or manager liked you because of your personality. At the end of the day, we all end up in IT some way, some shape or form. We all end up in IT. Everyone has their own unique path to getting into IT or cybersecurity. So that's it. That's pretty much it for me. That's my advice for 2023. I made a video on this before. I wanted to make another video. But with that being said, I hope this helps you out. 
please comment down below if, if this you find this video useful. Um, also, please comment down below if you like this video, and please comment down below um, if you want to engage with me furthermore. Come to Discord, all right? With that being said, I hope you have a good day. Take care. Peace. Bye.